In this video, we're going to look at several different methods of saving output from JMP. The first thing we need to do is to get some output to save. So what I'm going to do is fit a standard multiple regression. So I'm going to go to Fit Model, enter in Satisfaction as my Y, and Age, Severity, and Anxiety as my predictors, and run this model. Now one way we can save this analysis is to simply save the report as it exists here. Now the benefit of saving a report, uh, the way I'm about to demonstrate, is that later on you can come back to this report and you can request additional things. That is, you can regret, uh, request the additional estimates, you can save columns, request uh, further row diagnostics. You can do all the same things with the report as you can with it right here. So to save the report in this way, we simply go to File, Save As, and notice that JMP gives this a JRP extension. Uh, that is the jump report file. So let's go ahead and save this as something. Uh, one suggestion I have for saving reports is to put the date at the beginning of the file. Uh, that way you know exactly when you ran this analysis. So I'm going to put in uh, today's date, 2010-1201. And I'm going to save this as output. And go ahead and hit save. Now JMP is going to ask us to make a decision here of how to handle the data on which this report is based. Uh, our two options are to save the data table as it exists now or to embed the data table. Now JMP is going to do something slightly different uh, based on this option. If we embed the data table, what that means is it's going to take the data as it exists in our file right now and put it in with the report file. Uh, the benefit of this is if we open this report on any computer uh, or open it at a later time on our own computer, it is going to have the analysis based on the original data, the data as it exists now in our file. On the other hand, if we click Save Data Table, what JMP will do is create a reference in this report to the original data table uh, or to the data file uh, that we are running this analysis on. What this means is if you change the data, exclude cases, add more cases, or anything like that, the analysis will rerun using those changed data. What it also means, however, is that you have to keep track of the original data file. That is, the original data file needs to stay in the same place on your computer uh, for your report to access it. The downside of this, of course, is if you move the data file, if you uh, lose things, or if you want to send this report to somebody, you have to keep track of that data file. So as a rule, uh, or a tendency for me, I tend to embed the data table. Uh, this way, this report will stay static. It'll always have the same numbers. Uh, so later on, when you come back to look at this report, things won't look different from how you saw it originally. So I'm going to click Embed Data Table. Now notice, if I close this report, and I close these files, let me close that all together, and reopen this report, JMP will reopen. It'll show me the fit model and it'll reopen uh, all the information and all the data we had from before. Uh, it'll also reopen this data table, uh, but notice that this is not a file on my computer, it's simply a embedded data table within this report. If I wanted to, I could resave this data table as something different uh, if I wanted to uh, recover the data, uh, but for us this doesn't quite matter. All we really have to do is open the file and the data is still embedded.